You've already been fired. You just don't know it. 2023 is going to change the fabric of how we all work and it's going to start happening way faster than you think. And if you don't watch the entire video, you're going to miss out on some essential tools that are going to save you a lot of time and lots of opportunity. In this video, I'm going to show you multiple ways that you can automate your day-to-day -day work. You can look really good in front of your boss, save yourself some time, get home before traffic and sit down and crack open a drink. So sit back, relax, and let's have a look at some of the best tools for ChatGPT today. Bing, Microsoft introducing ChatGPT through Microsoft could be the game changer that get them right ahead of Google. This could change how everyone uses the internet. And we're going to start seeing that happening in March of 2023. If you haven't been hiding under a rock, you would have heard of OpenAI and ChatGPT. GPT, chat GPT. I don't understand why they've picked such a hard name to say, seeing as they're looking to go mainstream, unless they're looking to hide under the hood of other tools like Google, like Microsoft. And Microsoft is introducing chat GPT in March of 2023. This is going to change how people consume information online and it's going to change how many industries, many jobs work. Lawyers are able to be replaced. Contract writers are able to be replaced. Content writers, social media managers, all of our jobs are at risk, at least in the current state of what those jobs are. So if you don't adapt yourself to use AI and not hide under that rock, you're going to fall behind. So make sure that you pay attention. While this tool is amazing, we want to speed up how we do work on a daily basis. And there are ways for us to introduce superpowers to chat GPT to allow us to capitalize and just accelerate how it works. Here are the superpowers that are going to allow you to automate your workflow using chat GPT, simplifying your work and making life better. This is going to be a wild ride. Let's get into it. One of the biggest limitations for chat GPT so far has been you can't pull information from online. If you search for the World Cup results or news related to anything, it's not going to give you correct information because it's taken information from 2021. While this plugin is going to allow us to suck in all that information from Google, which will give us live information. So let's have a look here. This result is before adding the plugin. Now let's add the plugin. Okay, so looking for information in the last few days still doesn't give us best results. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so this is pulling in information from three different articles and it's putting it together. We have results going up to the 10th and 11th of January, which is not correct because today is the 9th. So there are still some improvements we need to see. The next plugin is going to blow your mind. Plugin number two, here we have chat GPT writer, which is going to allow us to generate emails straight in from the email itself, getting additional prompts. If this works, this is going to be an absolute game changer for writing emails at extension. GPT writer, let's see what happens when we go into our Gmail and write an email. So we have a new little icon down the bottom, email content. Okay, so we have an email from a freelancer here saying they're looking to become a freelancer for us. So let's copy that content and we'll paste it in. So the context, we're gonna copy and paste our email from the freelancer asking for asking to do work with us. And we're gonna put in what we're looking for the email to say. So we're gonna say, we want to respond to the freelancer to say that we're looking for a meeting at 2 p.m. Friday, Ireland time. Okay, this is absolutely awesome. We are getting a live response linking directly in with chat GPT so we can respond to customers while using our Gmail, insert generated reply, and there we have it. That is going to save a lot of time. It's going to help give better results and responses to our customers. This is a big W. I'll just turn my camera on there. So here we have chat GPT with your WhatsApp. This allows you to send WhatsApp messages linking in with AI for your chat GPT. So if you were out and you wanted to text someone a recipe or different instructions, or you wanted to give additional information for your text, this is how you're going to do it. I'm not doing it in this video because it does link in with GitHub. What we can see here is that you need to use a specific library, a dedicated browser, and they do say that It'd be very doubtful for you to do this on the first try. So you're going to need to put a bit of time in here to make sure that you can do this. Again, that is very impressive to allow people to go in and give themselves ongoing information to help them on their day-to-day -day tasks or whatever they're doing. So creating YouTube videos, what we're seeing a lot, of, what I've been seeing a lot over the last few weeks is people going in and 
using going into YouTube, copying the transcription from the YouTube video, and then they're going to paste it. And here is a plugin to allow us to capture the YouTube summary, summary, saving us a bit of time. We're going to search for SEO tips 2023, top 10 tips for SEO 2023. Okay, we are on to the YouTube video that we want to capture all the content from and we'll have a look at what we can do here. You do in YouTube get a transcription section, which is going to give you the content. So you could copy all this content and you could bring it into OpenAI. But this new plugin, what it's done here is it gives us this new dropdown. We go in and it bulks it in better timeframes for people to help summarize everything for you. We can then go in and we can highlight different sections. So let's highlight this as green. And we have the plugin up on the top right of our Chrome browser and it's showing us our different notes. I'll do one more. Color this. And then this section, we'll color it red. Okay, so it automatically updates it to the right hand side. So what we can do with this is we can copy all of these highlighted notes, copy all and we can paste it into a different location like our notes, our favorite notes app that we would use ourselves. Here we have a text editor app that I use for myself. And what we can see here is it hasn't just pasted in the content, it has pasted in the SEO title, the metadata, the website URL, and it has also pasted the content that I had copied across. One of the other nice features that we can do with this is we can do collaborative work. So multiple people can edit and comment in the content and you can see it all in the cloud. So if I write some notes and highlight a green, so what we can do here is I can highlight different work with different colors and different notes. And then if you're on my team, you can come in with your own notes and different colors and it can help us understand what's working and not working as long as it's on the same website URL. So for this video, it would be our URL up the top here. We can see this working live here. So what we can see is you have a collaborative area where you and your teammates can see all the different notes added by multiple people in one place. We can also see there's a profile for this tool, allowing us to see when, where, and what we have highlighted, the different website URLs and the dates, helping to categorize everything. Again, just saving the team. Here we have chat GPT for search engines. So it's another Chrome extension that we want to bring in. We're gonna add the extension and it's automatically gone in here. And now let's go to google.com. Okay, so now we've got a Chrome extension on the right hand side. It's giving us a small scale version of chat GPT. It doesn't allow us to link in with the other plugin where we have up to date information. But what it does do is still gives us the usual chat GPT information, which is still awesome. So we can quickly ask overview information without leaving the website that we're currently working on or the tasks that we're currently working on. So maybe I'm in a presentation making up some content and I need to source a bit of more information or content or a different angle that I want to target for that article or presentation. I'd give this another win. Using ChatGPT, one issue that people are having is understanding what prompts that you can make because the better questions and information that you give ChatGPT, the better results that you're going to get back. So what people are talking about over the last few weeks is that this is going to be a job for people in the future. I don't think that's going to happen at all. I believe that this is going to be taken over by the AI itself. We're on chat gpt3 at the moment once chat gpt4 comes in I, th I think it is 500 times more powerful than the current version these prompts are going to be provided by OpenAI rather than having to use third-party tools okay we've added this plugin as well let's jump into our chat gpt the prompts that we have here are going to allow us to categorize and to keep note of all the different prompts that we have used that have helped us get the best results from chat gpt so again for the moment this is a great plugin because Understanding what questions to ask is very important. Give yourself a heading and then the content that you put in, the question that you put in. So these these prompts should be provided by OpenAI to help people use their tool better. It makes perfect sense for them to give you prompts and to suggest what prompts that you might think of using. They could even give you multiple prompts that they think are going to be correct and give you those results all in real time. Here we have an upgraded version of text to audio, which is gonna help people to write out content and then they're going to get a high quality audio version back. And it looks like you get multiple versions of the audio that you request when you do this, which is gonna help everything feel more natural. The reason that people don't like AI bots at the moment or AI audio is because it most of the time it feels too staggered 
Here we've got some tips from Data Chaz GPT. We've just downloaded Merlin, which has 10,000 active users, which should allow us to use chat GPT on any website online. So let's see how it works. To get Merlin to work, what we need to do is on a Mac, we need to click Command and M or on a Windows Control M. So let's go into Twitter, let's create a tweet, Command M. Perfect, Merlin says type your request above. So we'll go into Twitter and we will create a tweet and we will say Control M. It'll bring Merlin up and we're, we are going to ask our question. Here are five strategic tips for SEO in 2023. And Merlin is creating us five tips straight from Twitter, which is incredible. And then we can highlight this, which would bring it into our highlighted text on the right hand side. So we're going to copy this text and we'll paste it into Twitter. Write me a tweet giving tips for using Merlin AI Chrome plugin. We can copy that text then go back and we will paste it. Okay, Merlin is another awesome one that is cool. Share GPT, allowing you to share your prompts with other people, which is perfect if you're working in a team so you don't need to be using other tools. You could use the annotation tool that we showed you earlier, giving the highlights and allowing you to share with your team. And there you have it, multiple superpowers to give you a better way to use ChatGPT, which is going to save you time, save you hours, allow you to collaborate with people in a much better and more effective way. This is only the start. Let's see 2023 be the year of AI. See you on the next video.